TR Rehab with another video on the Ram 1500 2003. The weather's going to be pretty nice today, so I get a chance to address something that obviously looks to be getting progressively worse. I'm going to get out here and see if I can figure out where this leak is coming from and uh, see if we can get this taken care of. First thing I'm going to do is uh, check my coolant levels to make sure I'm not uh, dangerously below. But again, if you look at the ground there, you can see that something is leaking from somewhere. So the first thing again we're gonna do, just check and see. So I have plenty of coolant. I'm gonna see if I can locate where the actual drip is coming from or at least in the area that it's coming from. And that way I can go from the top of the engine and get a better idea of where to start looking. Oh, there's a drip. Okay, let's see if we can see where that drip is coming from. One of the simplest ways to uh, find that leak, it's gonna be just, okay, there it is right there. So basically all I'm gonna do is just follow that up and see where that's coming from. Most of the time it'll run off, but it'll give you a good indicator as to where exactly that leak is dripping from. Let me see if I can go from the top and see where that's running off from. And it's definitely coolant. Following this hose here, from the radiator. I'm just gonna give a little tap up under it see if it's wet. So we know it's not leaking from the hose. This is the thermostat housing on the uh, driver's side of the engine. And that's probably where this leak is coming from. Still getting nothing. Ah, and there it is. So it looks to be the thermostat that's leaking. And that's located on the uh, driver's side of the engine bay. So we're gonna go up here and see if we can pick up, uh, I think it's a 203 that goes in here. We're gonna get this thing taken apart and see if we can fix that. Just kind of slide a little drip pan up under here because I'm gonna lose a little coolant. See where we're at from the top. Basically, I'm gonna get you a flathead screwdriver wedge it up against your post try not to damage the holes get the coolant starting to drain got a half inch on the top and then another half inch on the bottom here for this bottom one i went ahead and exchanged it out with my wobble extension Part number 41603. And what I want to do now is basically I'm just comparing seals that go around them. And as you can see, this one has an indenture all the way around, which should be, you know, because it's been in there for a while, I would imagine. As you can see, the seal on this one is pretty even all the way around, uh, which will allow us to get a better seal. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get this back in there. What I'm using now is the Xerox G05. I use that both in the uh, Gold Dodge and in my Viper truck. Again, the Xerox Z05, that's what I use in both the vehicles. Now I was using the Dexcool, but um, had some pretty good reviews on the Xerox. That's what we're gonna roll with today. And once again, I'm using the Xerox G05. It's a real light watery gold color. And I've been running that in both my Viper truck and the Ram 1500 5.7. Like I say, once you dilute this, it almost looks like clear water, but it has like a little goldish tint to it. And we're gonna fill this all the way up to the top. Probably even gonna let it come over a little bit because I'm sure I got air in the lines. And what I'll do is I'll crank it up, run it for a little while, probably take it up and down the street, come back, 
let it cool down, top it off again, and we should be good to go. And then that's all the way to the top. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and fire it up, get it up to operating temperature, see if that thermostat will open up, pull a little bit of that coolant into the system, and then we'll top it off again. I'm gonna go down the driveway and come back up and take advantage of the incline on my driveway. I'm gonna try to get some of the air out of the system, which I know we're gonna have. Parking on an incline allows you to get the maximum amount of coolant into the system. And it also helps when you're trying to get air out of the lines. And all I'm gonna do is squeeze the hose and you'll see some of the bubbles start to come up from the air that's trapped in the system. What I'm doing here is squeezing some of the air out of the line just by taking my hand and squeezing the, my hose you'll see some of the air start to come out. I'm gonna speed the video up a little bit, do about 15 minutes of driving. Um, as the temperature was before with the 185 thermostat, I would usually run about quarter ways to the cool side. Um, with the 203 that I just installed, I should be somewhere around the halfway mark. So we're gonna give it a little ride around and just see what the results are. Mm -hmm. 